Welcome everybody, I'm Gary Edelman at the American Battlefield Trust and I'm so happy to be here with one of my oldest and best friends, Wayne Motz, the new uh, president and CEO of the Gettysburg Foundation. Between us, we've been battlefield guides for, I think, going on 60 years here at the Gettysburg National Military Park. But before we even get into the foundation and stuff, Wayne, what's your connection to Gettysburg in this place? Well, my connection's long, and let's say, Gary, the two of us here being here 60 years, we know some guides who guided here 60 years at the Gettysburg <laughs> National Military Park. I just feel so honored to be here as the new president and CEO of the Gettysburg Foundation, because as you know, as a young kid, I would run around the battlefield, I'd have a little cap, and I'd have a flag, and now I get to be here and really try to make a difference. So as a young boy, we would come here a lot. I went to school, later became a battlefield guide. This is just something that's just a dream come true for me to be here, Gary. So a lot of people come to the park here, Wayne, and they might go to the battlefield, they might visit the visitor center, but probably don't really know what the Gettysburg Foundation is or does. That's right. So, Gary, let me give you the mission of the Gettysburg Foundation as best I can do it. And I've only been here about three weeks, so <laughs> this is new for me. But we are a 501c3 nonprofit philanthropic educational organization that operates with the National Park Service in Gettysburg National Military Park and Eisenhower National Historic Site to preserve them and to educate the public about their significance. That's paraphrasing it, but that's really what we do. Okay, so how does the public then interact with the Gettysburg Foundation when they come? When they come, you know, you're, I would say, heavily involved with this visitor center. So what's your role at the visitor center? And what do people, what do you have to offer when people come? So most people don't realize that the Gettysburg Foundation owns and operates the National Park Service Visitor Center, which is over here behind me. That's really your orientation to the battlefield when you get here. And here inside this building, Gary, there is a New Birth of uh, Freedom, a New Birth of Freedom, which is our orientation film. There is a museum there, and also the cyclorama, the beautiful painting that puts you right in the middle of Pickett's Charge. That's all in this building. You can also hire a battlefield guide out of this building. And you get the real setup here on behalf of the National Park Service to go out on the battlefield and use the resource. Good, and I'm pretty sure the foundation's also active out on the battlefield, especially at one particular sort of hospital site. Absolutely. The Gettysburg Foundation owns and operates the George Spangler Farm, which is one of the largest field hospitals here during the time of the battle. There are about 1,900 wounded soldiers out at the farm, and that's open during the summertime as well to go out and visit. There's living history encampments and programs out at the George Spangler Farm, which was the 11th Union Army Corps Hospital. Good, and I think the foundation's pretty active throughout the year with all sorts of events, so where would they find out more information before to plan their visit? You bet. So I'm going to give three websites uh, to the viewers so they can go out and look. First of all, www.gettysburgfoundation.org. That gives all the programs we have and information about the building and planning your visit. Then also, www.mps.gov forward slash get, G-E-T-T. That's the Gettysburg National Military Park, our partners, what we're here for to support. You want to go out and look at the programs that they're all doing. And then also when you plan your visit here, so you can look at hotel and other accommodations, go to www.destinationgettysburg.org, and that will take you to the website for the Visitor Bureau here. Good, and what I would add is, you know, I've been really seeing a lot of uptick in the Gettysburg Foundation's uh, social media, Destination Gettysburg, and the Gettysburg National Military Park all seem to be humming with their Gettysburg content. You know, everything's opening back up and it's happening. I would add one more to that list, of course, because I'm, I'm happy to, you know, say that we are working together, the American Battlefield Trust and the Gettysburg Foundation, more than we have in the past, and we were together involved with a battlefield preservation effort on the Baltimore Pike, and right. I think, Wayne, I think and hope we'll be doing a lot more together. I do too, Gary, and we're just, we're just honored to help out related to that. And once again, working through our partners, Gettysburg National Military Park, Eisenhower National Historic Site, I hope you'll see a lot more of us. I think so too. One last thing, Wayne. You know, when I met you uh, in, I believe, 1990, uh, or early 91, uh, you were already a battlefield guide, and you were preparing for like a, a seminar. And then you got this job at a historical artist. You know, working with a historical artist, and I was jealous. And then you started running the Adams County Historical Society. And then he starts running, you know, this huge Civil War Museum up in Harrisburg, the great National Civil War Museum. And here you find yourself right back in Gettysburg. How's it feel? 
Oh, it, I just can't even begin to tell you how it feels. And let me just say that with me, it took a village. I couldn't pack this 139,000 square foot building with all the people in my career, including you, that have helped me all across the way. So many mentors and so many folks I looked up to that helped me along my career. I'm just glad I can be here, and I just hope with the entire team I can make a difference, Gary. Thanks so much, Wayne, and make sure you plan your visit to Gettysburg. Uh, you know, use the websites that Wayne said and impressively memorize this whole time. Go to battlefields.org um, and plan your visit to Gettysburg and interact with the Gettysburg Foundation. We think you're going to like what you see.